Listen, I know this year has been my low buy year, but it's November. Like, I've been doing a great job. I deserve to shop at Sephora twice. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using all the products that I purchased recently from Sephora because I shopped the sale not once but twice. Two times I shopped the sale, so I'm just going to be getting ready today using all the products. I have tried everything already, so I can kind of give some of my thoughts um, since I've tested out a few of these products, but I will link my shop with me, a video that I did. I did a little vlog style here in Las Vegas, and then I did also shop again when I was visiting my friend Anjel Ganifas in Austin, Texas. I do have a vlog of our trip up as well. We stopped into a Sephora. There was a few things at the one in Vegas that I wanted that they didn't have, but Austin had them. Austin had a little bit of everything, okay? So I had to, I had to, had to shop again. Before we get started, I do wanna say there is a sponsor on today's video and I'm getting to work with Scentbird once again today. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I have four new fragrances that they sent over to me, which always has me so excited. And it's funny because in Austin, I was using some of Angie's Scentbird fragrances as well. So we both love it. What I really enjoy about their service is that you get to try out different fragrances without having to purchase a full size because fragrances can get so, so pricey. So this is a great way to be able to test out something and see if you really love it. So Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and allows you to try the new designer fragrances each month and for just $17. To get each fragrance, there is a 30 day supply to try. You can decide if you want the full size or which one is your favorite. And I do also have a code with them to get you 55% off your first month. That code is March. So that will only be about $8 for your first month, which I think is pretty incredible. So I wanna tell you about some of my favorites that I received this month. So the first one is the Confessions of a Rebel Get a Room and Order Champagne. First of all, did I order it because of the name? Slightly. I love reading fragrance descriptions. It's one of my favorite things. This says she's Get a Room's darker, more seductive sister. And despite the line of eager suitors fighting for her attention, she's not ready to call a cab home just yet. Last call isn't an ending. It's a new beginning for all sorts of mischievous adventures. And this heated, provocative mix keeps the party going. Raspberry and Mandarin open the scent with a juicy in your face flair as a night blooming jasmine and sensual cocoa whisper sweet nothings in the mix. Like a transcendental beat heard through the midnight fog, patchouli drifts into vanilla, blur in the lines between reverie and reality. Draw the blinds, bolt the door, and get the bottle on ice. This is about to get good. Like, stop. I freaking love fragrance descriptions so much. So again, we have raspberry, mandarin, jasmine, patchouli, and vanilla. And this is what I'm wearing tonight. So I'm heading out for a girl's night. I'm having a staycation, which I'm so excited for. This 100%, like we're going to a lounge bar. Then we have dinner at a really upscale restaurant. 100%, this is my fragrance that I'm wearing tonight. I've been wearing it all week and it's just, it's the vibe. Like it's the vibe, it makes me feel confident. I also really enjoy this one from a commodity. This is milk seeking comfort in the familiar. This creamy and calming scent offers the perfect start to the day. Cold milk adds a cooling element to an otherwise rich and warm fragrance of marshmallow, mahogany, and tonka bean. This one honestly reminds me a little bit of the first one. I feel like we're kind of along the same family, but it is, like it says, like it's a little bit cooler. To me, it's not as like dark and seductive as the first one might be, but still a really beautiful scent. Like if I was going out to a nice dinner, this would be a nice one to put on as well. So also really been enjoying this one. And then with the Scentbird fragrances, you can lock and unlock them and you just twist back and forth and then you have your spray here. And I like that it comes in these cases and they are very easy to pull apart here so you can see like which fragrance is inside if you have multiples like myself. And then the last one that I have, this is Ormond Jane in Arabesque. So Arabesque takes you on an oil factory journey through the enchanting and mystical Middle East based on flowers, fruits, and woods entwined together and found in Islamic art. A heart of rose and jasmine absolutely interplay beautifully and creates a sense of well-being and serenity. Patchouli and oud transports you into another world. I'm a big fan of oud I don't, and musk. Like I... I tend to lean towards more like either unisex or more like masculine fragrances. And when I smelled this one, I was like, yep, this is one that I really enjoy. I feel like all three of these are, hmm, all three of these are kind of leaning more on like a date night vibe for me. I'm not going on any dates, but if I was, 
these are the fragrances that I would be choosing, okay? So really enjoy these three that were sent to me this month. I will have them all linked down below as well as the Scentford website and my code MARCH, which will get you a 55% off. I'd love to know what fragrance are you loving right now? Have you tried it, Scentford? And now let's get ready for this girl staycation. I did my own hair today and I'm quite proud with how it turned out. I'm just gonna clip it back, but I feel like I've really been getting the hang really been getting the hang of doing my own hair. I've been trying because getting weekly blowouts is a very expensive habit, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Stick of Foundation. So I got this mostly because Angie loves it so much. She's always raving about it. I was color matched when I went to LA for the YouTuber event. So got the shade seven, really been liking it. And I have been wearing this all week like since i bought it it's the only foundation that i wore in austin and i think it's great so angie's always talking about how super blendable it is and i absolutely agree like i feel like i barely need to touch the brush to my skin and it just blends in so flawlessly and you know obviously austin weather is a bit different from vegas weather it's not as dry there you know it's a little bit more humid temperature wise it's pretty similar but condition wise not exactly but i was worried because i wasn't using primer in austin either i was worried how it would hold up and it held up so well one day i went to a university of texas football game and it was not supposed to be bright and sunny but it sure was and i was like oh i'm gonna like like my my foundation is gonna be sliding off my face and it really wasn't like i wouldn't say it was like 100% perfect by the end of the day because that was like five hours of sitting with sun just beating down on you the game went into overtime I was like no no my forehead is still peeling but you know that's cute but I felt like it held up pretty well considering the conditions so I have been very impressed with this one I am starting to think about what I'm packing for when I go to Ireland next month I go to Ireland for 10 days I had a live chat yesterday and we were talking about what we were packing and like makeup wise I was like, I'm probably just gonna pack a small bag. Like, I don't feel the need to pack like three foundations. I'll pack one. Right now, I'm really considering bringing the Fenty Beauty because it's easy. I like, it's not glass, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, like on the plane, it's easy to blend. It's easy to apply. Like, I mean, Angie was even saying like in a pinch, like you can use your fingers to blend it out. It's that easy. So that's the uh, front runner right now. From House Labs, I'm going to use their concealer. I have the shade Light Medium Peach. Also really been enjoying this one. It's the only concealer that I have been wearing since I bought it. I, if I would say I'm like the most blown away or anything by it, but I do think that it looks nice. I continue to wear it. And even though like tonight is like a media event, so we're going to be doing a lot of filming and a lot of photography. So I, you know, definitely want to make sure that I am looking my best. Um, and I'm still, you know, I'm choosing to, to wear this because I still think that it looks good. I just don't know if I would say I love it as much as like the LYS concealer or the Natasha Denona, but so far I've been enjoying it and I'm just a little bit more picky when it comes to my concealers. By a little bit, I mean I'm, I'm more picky <laughs> when it comes to my concealer. Okay, honestly, I do think that looks pretty good. Okay, I know I just said that I was like, mm, you know, mm but that does look really good. It's very smoothing. I feel like it looks a little bit more brightening. It doesn't look dry. Like sometimes with concealers, I can, like I, I think it, it looks like a little bit drying on my under eyes because I do have dry skin and dry under eyes. Okay, I think that looks really good actually. My concealer brush, I did use one from Ruffer. Where did it go? This is the 36. I have a couple videos up with like Black Friday and gift guides. Uh, but Refer is running 50% off now on their website. So if you're looking for a good concealer brush, then that is a nice option. And then I did repurchase the Lawless Beauty Brow Pencil. I have the shade Oak. I ran out when I was in LA last month and I was like, what? So I definitely had to repurchase another one of these brow pencils. It's just one of my favorites. So I was happy to be able to get... 20% off the brow pencil. Honestly, I probably should have like bought more since I'm definitely gonna lose my rouge status in 2024, but that's okay. That was the point of having a low buy year. 
And even though, again, like I made two Sephora purchases, but honestly, if, if the Sephora in Vegas would have had everything, I would have just, you know, purchased it all right there. Like their Lawless Beauty section was really small. They had mostly like the lip products and a few eyeshadow palettes, but like they didn't have the powder I'm about to use. They didn't have brows. And the eyeshadow palette hadn't released yet. I think it released the day before I got to Austin or the day, maybe it was the day that we went shopping and Angie and I got the last two palettes at the store. And then I wanted to repurchase, you know, I got, my apartment got broken into a couple months ago and they stole my purse, which had my iconic nude lip liner. So I wanted to repurchase that, you know, so a lot of things were either like repurchases or things that I really wanted. It has been my low buy year, but it really has been. Like there's been multiple months because I keep spreadsheets of, you know, everything that I am, um, um, you know, spending money on because I submit that like to my accountant and everything. There have been multiple months in 2023 where my makeup column is zero. And that makes me really happy because that has not been the case. I mean, probably since 2016, 2017, I'm gonna say. So, I felt pretty proud of that. So I, I didn't feel guilty for these purchases. And I was on vacation. Hello. Okay, you can't not call me in three years and then call me and expect me not to freaking panic. Are you okay? Okay, one of my like old friends just called me and scared the crap out of me. Whoa, you know when you haven't talked to someone for so long and then all of a sudden they're calling you? They're not even texting you. They're calling you. My mind went like, I've we've just had too much going on recently that I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Please, no bad news. But he said it was just a pocket dial. Oh my word. I'm sweating. I'm now sweating. Like, I can't take any more bad news, okay? Like, I can't. Oh. For my under eye powder, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch. So, a lot of people really love the loose powder, and I picked up the pressed powder, and I've really been enjoying it so far. I feel like it is a really nice under eye powder it's a little bit more brightening again it's a little bit smoothing i wouldn't say it's as undetectable as the charlotte tilbury i think that's still going to continue to be my favorite under eye powder for eight years running now but i do think that this is a nice option too i don't mind it for the face but i actually like it more for the under eyes and i feel as though it's a little bit more brightening as well which i enjoy and then for my face powder, I was able to repurchase the Lawless Beauty Perfecting Powder when we were in Austin. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 105. This is my favorite powder brush. Again, if I still didn't have the Lawless Powder back, I would use the Huda Beauty. That's what I was doing before I was able to buy this one. But this is just my favorite face powder. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It really is just kind of like putting a filter right over your skin. It makes it look so smooth and just helps everything stay in place because tonight's gonna be a long night. I'm pretty sure, so we have to be there at six. I think our first event is at seven. Like our first location is at seven. And then I don't think we eat dinner until nine. <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit of a long night, but then we do have to be, I think we have to be to the spa by like 9 a.m. tomorrow. It's a full weekend. I will also be vlogging the weekend um, just because I think it's going to be so fun to get to show you some things. Like it's been really fun for me as I start to work more in the Las Vegas scene um, as a Vegas content creator, not just a beauty and lifestyle creator for YouTube and Instagram, but more into Vegas as well. I have a lot of fun showing like the restaurants we're going to or the different events that we're going to, um, the bars, the lounges, anything like that. So I especially would love to do more staycations, especially because it's so hard for me to be in my apartment right now. I need to find like a few spare moments so I can just like start pitching <laughs> more and more places to let me come do a staycation, whether in Vegas or beyond, I don't care. Um, because it's just, yeah, I still just don't love staying at my apartment. I mean, that's why I went to Austin for a week. Um, if you haven't seen my dog, uh, passed away, uh, in the middle of October and, um, yeah, it's just not, it's not the easiest time to be here without her and it's really quiet and just feels lonely and yeah, it's just hard. So being able to do some staycations, like I think that'll be a lot of fun. So really looking forward to tonight. That means I've been in my apartment for three nights. 
a whole three nights and I'm peacing out once again. I'm like, all right, see you later. It's fine. But yeah, I will definitely vlog the weekend and I'm kind of surprised I didn't buy a new bronzer or a new blush. Look at me go. I did try the Iconic London blushes. I tried it in my full face using Angie's makeup bag. And I really like it. Like if the sale was still going on, that might be a hard one to say no to, but I'm also like, you don't need another blush. Like I did such a good job decluttering my blushes. Don't do it. I love the Charlotte Tilbury because it gives a little bit of that shimmer as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with some Fix Plus. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Pretty Grunge once again. So I mentioned we got the last two at the Sephora when we were shopping at the Domain. And so I'm excited about this. Angie and I used it in our Get Ready With Me, and then I used it again the other day. I just did a really simple look the other day, but I mean, honest, like when do I not just do a simple look? Let's be honest. The hard part is I don't know what I'm wearing at tonight. I'm almost thinking of like a white skirt that's sequiny but I don't know because then I don't know what top I'm wearing so but I also feel like I should wear a dress since the locations we're going to mm, okay this is a toughie I'm kind of curious to use haphazard like I keep my eyes keep coming back to that shade almost thinking of using some haphazard and then lightening it up maybe with one of the lighter shades in here so Let's start with something along those lines. I'm first going to use the shade. Let's use Brave first. Over here, I'm gonna use the Singe Beauty E03 and dust this into my crease. Such a pretty shade, like moms will just always, they will just always get me. All right, and then I am gonna pick up Haphazard with a brush, the Singe Beauty E04. And I'm really just, I'm just curious about this shade. I just want to try it out. Okay. So this one does look to be obviously more of a darker shade, but like I said, I do want to lighten it up a little bit as well. But it's very pretty. I think this will make for a good like girls night out type of vibe. I do feel like this shade though is like, Maybe like a little bit patchy, kind of how I'm feeling first thought. It might be smoother if I was using my finger, but I don't want the shade to be, you know, if I use my finger, it can be a little bit more um, pigmented, just give you a little bit more oomph. And I don't want it to be like too, too dark, you know? Still pretty. And then I am gonna use my finger to pick up a lighter shade. So I haven't tried Maverick yet. I used a stand up the other day, just a really simple eye look and I liked it, but I'm gonna use a little bit of Maverick on my finger and pop this onto the lid as well. I really do like layering shadows sometimes. That's pretty, see it just like lightens it up a little bit. It didn't like totally take away some of the depth in here, but a little something something oh, that's pretty i like this okay i really like that shade that's super pretty i'm nearly confident this is the shade that angie used and she said she had a lot of fallout i'm using my finger and not really getting not getting much of anything for fallout so sometimes using your finger can help spraying your brush can help you know different things like that i like the sparkliness that's super pretty i'm gonna do just a little bit of liner with the cream black that's in here i got asked a lot of questions in the get ready with me what uh wing liner brush that i use and this is the one from sigma beauty so they do have my favorite liner brush so i'm just gonna do a little wing okay by little we went a little thicker <laughs> by a little i mean a little thicker <laughs> than I was anticipating to, but you know what? It's fine, it's girls night. And with this being the cream, like it's so easy to clean it up. All right, for my waterline, I'm just using the Glossier. I need to do a project use up check in here pretty soon. And then I'm gonna grab the liner brush again. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of Renegade. I don't really love that we have a black powder and a black cream in here. Like I, I feel like one or the other would be fine, but I'm just, again, I kind of want to do, I feel like this is, I feel like this is the fragrance <laughs> that's kind of bringing out, it's, it's making me want to do like a little bit more of like a darker, sultry look so I can match the vibes of what I'm going to smell like. So now I feel like the white skirt is out. Hmm. Now I don't know what to wear. And I have to go to a party brunch tomorrow. But I was thinking about wearing my cowboy boots. I got cowboy boots in Austin. They're denim and sparkly, but now I need to figure out, I need to work my outfit around the boots. What I really just need is a personal stylist. Like, I think we've just gotten to that point. Like, we just need a personal stylist. I'm just kidding. But I'm not, but I am. Uh, I would love someone to dress me. I would love that. I'm gonna grab the itty bitty brush from Ruffer. This is the 23. And I'm gonna smudge it out with Love Anarchy. This very kind of light taupe shade and just smoke this out. All right, all right, all right. I think I'm gonna do, I don't really know if I wanna do an inner corner. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna do like a little bit of freedom. I don't know why, this seems fun to me. This could go all wrong, but I just wanna lighten up the inner corner just a little bit. Not necessarily like shimmery, but just like a little something right in here. It's like a light matte purple, that's fun. Okay, all right. And then I didn't grab a new mascara, but I just have like a lot of mascaras. I'm still in my last Get Ready With Me here, I use the Tower 28. I'm still just not like a huge fan of it. I'm gonna use the Fantasize One Size because again, it's gonna be a longer night. Like I just don't want my mascara to be moving anywhere. And this one, I really like how it makes my lashes look and it doesn't move on me. All right, so while I was doing my mascara, I decided to do a little bit of Brave and also Fearless on the lower lash line just because I really want to like smoke it out even more because that's the vibe right now. And then just to finish it off with lips, so like I said, I repurchased Iconic Nude. Here it is. I repurchased Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll take my hair out of its clips because I'm paranoid I'm going to lose like the bounciness to it. See? A little more. <laughs> it's fine everything's fine so this is one of my favorite lip liners it was like this big when it got stolen it was super tiny oh wait i need to go sharp see i need to sharpen it already look at this okay iconic nude is sharpened so i'm just gonna line my lips i'm so happy to have iconic nude back and it's gonna stay and stay and stay even through all of our drinks and meals tonight. Oh my, I'm so excited. Hank's at Green Valley Ranch is so good. Like if you're coming, you wanna go somewhere off the strip, go to Hank's. So yummy. And then I'm gonna use my Summer Fridays lip balm. I got the one in brown sugar. Once again, I've been wearing this so much and I think that's really nice and I like the color. I like that it's a little bit darker. That's what I'm leaning towards. Felt like it would go good with the eye look as well. And it just makes the lips look nice and juicy and it's very comfortable i'm getting the hype i'm getting the hype on this one but i love brown sugar so i was going back and forth but i like brown sugar a lot all right so after that that is it this is my makeup look for my girls night out in las vegas and tonight using all the products that i purchased from my two hauls during the Sephora sale. I of course will have everything linked down below. I will also have them in the shopping button here on YouTube. You can purchase that way as well. Again, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. My fragrance tonight is gonna go great with this makeup look and now we just need an outfit to match the energy that we are bringing. But I will have them linked down below, including my code MARCH to get you 55% off your first month. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.